In this video, I will show you my personal favorite VS Code extensions that you definitely want to have as a beginner level programmer. Hi everybody, I'm Christian and I make tutorials and content for IT professionals. I also stream a lot here on YouTube, so if you have any questions for me or you want to learn programming together with me, I also do a lot of live coding sessions in Python, so just jump into my live streams, it's always a lot of fun. So in this video I will show you my personal favorite VS Code extensions that will just help you as a beginner level programmer. And I know as a beginner those code editors and all these extensions out there may seem overwhelming to you, but trust me it's not really so difficult if you just get started with that and if you tried out some really really cool extensions, you don't want to miss them. So in this video I try to focus on the very beginner level stuff, so these are not all extensions I'm currently using, but I try to make a collection of those extensions that I think really helped me as a beginner level programmer to just get started, to help me write cleaner code, to find or to debug issues and just make my life easier. But if you think I missed some very important beginner level extensions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you think this video helps you and you're enjoying this, then please don't forget to hit the like button and also consider subscribing if you want to see more content, not just for programmers, but for any IT professional. And this also helps my channel. So don't waste time anymore. Let's get started with my personal favorite VS Code extensions for beginners. So let's go. So the first extension is called VS Code-Icons and this literally just changes the default icon theme of VS Code, which is pretty boring. So it comes with a variety of different icon styles based on the file type. So whenever you open a project folder, you will see different icons for programming languages such as Python, Rust, JavaScript, whatever you're using but it also has some different icon styles for specific folders that are also based on the name. So whenever you have a config folder that will get a different icon. So I think this really looks so much better than the default boring icon styles, but it also is pretty useful because you easily can identify different file types in your project folder and you can just customize your VS Code experience a little bit. And I think that's just a really nice extension. The next extension is called Bracket Pair Colorizer and you need to be careful because there are currently two versions existing on the marketplace. The Bracket Pair Colorizer in version 1 is even the most popular one, but you should use the version 2 because it greatly increases the speed and accuracy. It is basically just a rewritten extension. And what this extension basically does is whenever you're using brackets within your programming language, it just colorizes these brackets in different colors. And that's based on whenever these are nested brackets. So for example, if you're programming a lot with lists, tuples and dictionaries in Python, you can see that it's very useful because all the different nested brackets get different colors and it's very easy to identify in which statement and bracket you're currently in. It's also highlighting any error. So for example, if we have one bracket too much or a statement that just doesn't make sense because of a bracket error, it just highlights this bracket in red. So I think this is very useful. It also underlines the current line of code in different colors based on which bracket you're currently in. And I think this is very useful. So whenever you're working with any arrays, lists, tuples, whatever, you should definitely get this extension. It actually helps me a lot when I'm writing my applications. And when you're coding, you know that you will need a lot of brackets there. So definitely get this. This is a very nice extension. The next extension is called Indent Rainbow. And this is also very useful to structureize your code or to help understanding and reading your code, especially when you're using a lot of indent lines of code. And this is always the case in Python. So this is very useful, but also for any other programming language, this is very, very nice. So you can see in these examples, when um, these lines are indent, you can see if there is an error. So if you're missing some spaces, this line is marked as red. And based on the indent level, it is colorized in different colors. So together with a bracket pair colorizer in the indent rainbow extension, it's very easy to even read complex lines of code or complex projects. So especially these two extensions help me a lot when I'm reading my Python projects, because you will use a lot of indent lines in Python projects anyway. So this is very, very nice. You definitely want to get this. 
this extension. The next extension is called Column Manager and this is a very very useful extension when you're working a lot with web-based programming or you're working a lot with CSS, HTML and all this stuff because usually in CSS files and other configuration settings you will use a lot of these hex based color codes and you probably know already if VS Code identifies a hex based color code it will highlight this and you can basically just click on it and use a simple color picker to change the color but the color manager extension is also extending this functionality a lot because you can easily do a right click on a color and add it in color manager and then you can basically change the color but you can also add this to a palette and you can save these different palettes these are stored in your settings and you can open them again you can also manage different color sets and color palettes you can use in your projects you can easily replace those colors you can also format them in a different way so if you click on that play button in the color palette it also modifies the way how it is formatted and i think this is a very nice extension whenever you're working with colors this is always helping me a lot the next extension is called Remote SSH and this is also very useful especially when you're working with any remote servers over the SSH. You can basically connect your VS Code with a remote machine and you can also open a terminal. So whenever you're connected to a remote machine just open your terminal and you can basically use that. You can also open any file on that remote server and that is very useful especially when you're running any web servers and you quickly want to edit some of the files just like PHP file or configuration files this is a very nice extension whenever you're working with any remote servers. The next extension is called GitLens and this is just a really really nice extension for Git and especially as a beginner you probably don't know all the functionalities of Git and you're probably struggling to find out how this is working. With GitLens it's very easy to identify any commits that have been done, any changes, you can also browse through the different commits and easily click on these different things and see what changes have been done in the code files. There's also an overlay so for example if you mark a line there is a great text that says whenever this line was changed the last time and also in which commit statement that was done and also who had done this change. So that's very easy to see what's going on. You can also go back and revisions of this current file you're working on and I think this is really nice for a beginner because especially for me it just made git less obscure to me because I could easily just see what was going on and easily manage my code files. It probably is also a nice extension not just for beginners but for anyone who just want to make his life easier whenever you're working on any git based projects. The next extension is called to do highlight and I think this is a very very nice extension. So for example if you look at my project I always document a lot of stuff in the comment section and I can actually tell you that is something you should always do but often I have this situation where I'm working on my projects but I'm not immediately doing something and I just want to add some things that remind me of fixing a bug or to do something so I usually add some keywords like fix me or to do or bug and this extension is used to highlight these keywords. You can also customize this list. So if you open your user settings.json file, it's also defined in a JSON standard format. So you can add other keywords and you can also customize the way how they are highlighted within the code section. So for example, add the keyboard bug. And this is actually a nice example where the color manager extension I showed you before is very useful because now we can easily just do a right click and edit this color in the color manager and insert this in the JSON format. And you see the main.python project is immediately updated. This bug keyboard is now highlighted in the list. And one thing that is really, really nice is these colors are also highlighted in the scroll bar on the right side. So this is very nice. You can easily identify all the different marks and keywords. So you definitely want to get this extension, especially when you are managing any projects and you want to remind yourself of doing things or just add some marks within your code. Okay guys, we are almost done. This is the last extension that's called Error Lens. And this is very nice, especially for beginners. Because usually when you just start it, you will produce a lot of errors and issues and you're probably are wondering what is going on. This error highlight actually highlights all the different errors in the lines, but it also adds 
some explanations to what is going on. So this is marked with an orange color. It's unresolved import PTVSD. So it's probably likely that I didn't install this. So let's go and fix this. It's also interacting with your current linter. So for example, in Python, I've enabled the Flake 8 linter, which is pretty restrictive. So even when, if you're doing some issues in the comment sections. So in this line, I have too many leading hashtags for this comment. So it's also highlighted by the Flake 8 linter. So the errors are not directly coming from this add-on. It's based on the linter and error handling you have enabled for your current project. But it's very useful because it's immediately telling you what is going on and what you need to fix. So these were my personal favorite extensions for VS Code and I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the case, then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content for IT professionals. So thanks everybody for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, take care of yourself and I see you soon.